when I got my name changed, I got my name changed done in Alberta. So I'm gonna let you know how it is to get your name done in Alberta. <laughs> Look at you, yeah, paw to the face, paw to the face, looking at Nepal. Oh. So anyway guys, name change within Alberta was very easy. I don't know what every country, every province, every state is different. In Canada, it seems like it's easy. In Alberta, I really honestly had no issues. So basically, first thing you need to do is basically in Canada, before doing any legal thing, you need to live as the gender you identify as for at least a year. Which I did prior to moving to Canada, I live comfortably as a male so therefore when I got a psychiatrist in Canada I told him you know I'm comfortable I'm very sure of this so basically that was done then I went on uh, testosterone hormonal therapy and then the fun part is you need to decide on a name now before moving to Canada I went by the name of Chris for three years when I first moved back to Canada in 2014 I was going by Justin then it was Chasen and then it was something else. And then when I had a conversation with my biological father, with his name being William, me being his firstborn, he suggested Liam, where Liam is part of William. So I liked the name, so I stuck with the name. So we started looking into the legal process of changing your name in Alberta. So basically you need consent, a uh, note from your doctor, you need a psychiatrist note, stating the reason for the name change, then you know, need to go to registry to get the application, the paperwork, which you need to fill out the name and you need to let them know why you're changing your name. That was really easy, getting the paperwork. Then you need to fill it out and you need to explain why you're changing your name in Alberta anyway. And then you had to go to fingerprinting, you had to get a background check, a record check. Then you need to submit your documents and all the ID that I had, I had to give them my originals, which really sucked because I could not buy smokes, I could not go to a pub or anything for a few weeks because, let's face it, I don't look my age. It was, wasn't so bad because I was working at the time. And that's basically how I got my name changed in Alberta. Um, I needed to submit my uh, birth certificate, I had to send in my government-issued ID and my health card, so I had to forfeit everything. And as soon as my name was changed, I had to get new ID with the correct name. So that's how I changed uh, my name in the province of Alberta. How, how is it in your province if you are in Canada or how is it in the States? Let me know in the comments below. And